I'm going to give her a squeeze. Norwood Thomas never stopped thinking about Joyce Morris. The pair first met in 1944. She, a 17-year-old British girl living in London, he, a 21-year-old paratrooper for the U.S. forces. Young love blossomed. We snogged, as you call it, you know, when it was dark, nobody could see us. But their brief romance was interrupted when Thomas was deployed to Normandy to fight in World War II. After the war, he returned to the U.S. and invited Morris to join him. But she misunderstood his letter and thought he was already married. So she refused his invitation and they went their separate ways. They married other people. Thomas eventually became a widower. Morris got divorced. Last year, one of her sons found Thomas online, and they reconnected on Skype after more than 70 years. It's a friend of my hero, and I say good morning to you every morning. And I will say good morning. I say, what mischief have you been up to? <laughs> <laughs> and I will say good morning back to you. You broke my heart. Oh, <laughs> I don't believe that for a moment. What would you do if I could give you a squeeze? Oh, it'd be lovely. <laughs> a crowdfunding campaign raised enough money to make that actually happen. This week, Thomas made the journey from Virginia to Adelaide. Well, you're still vertical. <laughs> Hello. I'm going to give you a squeeze. A couple that first met just before D-Day, reuniting seven decades later, just in time for V or Valentine's Day. It's about the most wonderful thing that could have happened to me. Yeah, good. <laughs> Ivan Watson, CNN.